Hey guys, what is up? The date is December 17th on a Saturday. I did not vlog at all yesterday because I was not home yesterday once I left to go to work. I went to work and then after work, me and my coworker, we decided not to go to um, Green Bay to where Dave and Buster's were. We just decided to go to Fond du Lac because um, they had a Hobby Lobby there. So we went to Hobby Lobby and got, found what we wanted, what we were going to get for the kids to make Christmas presents for the parents. Um, and then we went out to eat at Applebee's and in Oshkosh and I didn't get home until like 11.30 last night and then I came home and went to bed. So. I did not bring Vloggy along with me yesterday. I just decided it was pointless because the odds of me vlogging anything was going to be zero. So I just said, screw it. So we have two days worth of Advent to open up today. We have the 16th and the 17th to open up. And then I am going to bust my butt today and get a crap ton of stuff done. I have to make my to-do list once I'm done vlogging. I need to call my grandma because my grandma called me yesterday while we were on our way to Applebee's. Um, she wanted to talk to me about Christmas, so I need to call her back. So she's not calling me while I'm in the groove of cleaning um, and whatnot. So yeah, so it's gonna be exciting. So let's open up Advent, shall we? I'm very excited. For Advent. Okay. Um. Okay. But I can turn this around without breaking it. That would be great. Okay. Um. 16 is right here. Almost dropped my advent calendar. Ooh, it is clove. It's purple. Not gonna try smelling it because we all know I'm not gonna be able to smell it. Um, cinnamon, clove, lemon, and, or no, cinnamon, clove, lemon, sweet, and vanilla. So, yeah. And then we have 17. Ha. It's right here. Ugh. Ooh. We have another bluish purple candle. And it's Winter Woods. Super exciting for that. Apple, anise, clove, vanilla, and amber. So that's exciting. Um, we are almost done with Advent, guys. Makes me sad, but I'm also like very excited because um, then I can use up all these candles and then I can put this in a safe place and I can reuse it for other things. Um, and for future advent calendars or like fun like random advent calendars even though it's Christmas looking but you know what it's a nice it's a nice advent calendar box so even if it's not winter when I decide to reuse this for something it's fine you know because it is a nice box why throw it away when I can repurpose it and reuse it for other fun spontaneous advent calendar things countdown things right right um so that's exciting so yeah so i'm gonna make my to-do list and call my grandma and we're gonna get stuff done today my goal is to get my closet and my bedroom organized and then start 
to clean up the kitchen a little bit more and clean off the table that I'm getting rid of that's actually going back to my grandparents' house. They don't know that it's going back to their house because they don't know that I got my new table. The table that I've been wanting. Um, and they don't need to know. Um, and get that ready so that that can go back to their house. Um, with my mom's help, because it's not going to fit in my car, so I will have to use her van and put it in there. Um, and stuff. And then, yeah. I'm hoping I can get most, if not all, of my housework done today. That way, tomorrow, I can work on getting the table out of my apartment if we don't do that today. Um putting on how things go and putting the table together, going to the grocery store and working on Mary Kay. So I am making it a point to work on Mary Kay this weekend at some point and not just do cleaning because I have a goal that I want to meet by the end of this month and in order to meet that goal I need to work on my business, right? So my goal isn't going to be reached if I don't do anything within my Mary Kay business. So I need to put time aside to do that this weekend so that I can reach my goal by the end of this month. So, with that being said, I'm going to go so I can make my to-do list and call my grandma. I start getting stuff done and then I will update, update you guys later. I also don't know how much I'm going to be vlogging today. So, I may or may not be combining today's vlog with tomorrow, so it'll be a combo weekend vlog, miss vlog, depending on things. Um, I also need to take out chicken breasts, so, yes, because I want to make chicken either tomorrow or Monday after I'm done with work. So, with that being said, I'm going to go and I'll see you guys later. Okay guys, so I just got off the phone with my grandma. Change of plans for Christmas. Christmas is going on per usual like it usually is. So Saturday night was Christmas Eve. So we will be doing that at my aunt and uncle's house. Which I already asked my sister if we were still doing doing that. Even though Steven is not going to be home yet at that time. They said yes. What is that? Oh, it's a box. Anyways. Um... And then we're doing Christmas Day still at my grandparents like we normally do. And then cause my brother just said it's fine. We can do like a small other like Christmas with him when he comes back. Cause, when he comes home because he hasn't figured out his planning of what he's all doing when he comes home. So. That means I have to get my grandma her Christmas present. This week, on top of the other Christmas presents, I have to get a hold of my other sister, find out Christmas lists, ideas, Christmas, what she wants for Christmas, wants and or needs for Christmas, um, and stuff. I'm also going to text my brother to find out some information from him and also let him know that our dad's side of the family they're not sure yet of when we're doing Christmas, but they are aware of the dates of when he's going to be home. So they're going to try to plan Christmas for when he's home. So that he can, way he can see everyone and it'll be like a one-stop visit. So he doesn't have to try to fit everyone in individually, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? It would be easier for him to visit with everyone at Christmas than it would be on his own time when he's home so yeah so I need to get a hold of him for that to let him know so um but yeah so I just wanted to give you guys that update that Christmas is going on normal like we normally are like we normally do and stuff and now I'm going to clean so 
I already took out my chicken breast and I made my first round of ice cubes because I'm out of ice cubes. So in order for me to make coffee, I need to have ice cubes. So my first round of ice cubes are in the freezer of freezing. So one of which are dinosaur ice cubes. Very proud of that. Um, so now I'm going to get shaken and bacon with cleaning my closet and my bedroom and I will see you guys later. Okay, so um, I'm cleaning and organizing my closet and I, for some reason, was looking at my CDs for like a minute just because I was like, oh, what CDs do I have again? Like, because not all my CDs are in my car. So I was like, oh, I have an Aerosmith CD. Completely forgot that I have um, an Aerosmith CD. But I went to go open it up because it felt like the CD was in here. Um, and there's, there's a $2 bill in here. I, a crisp $2 bill. I don't know if this is real. Um, I don't know where I got this. I don't know where I got this. Cause like I said, I forgot I had this. But, um, I found a $2 bill. <laughs> in my Aerosmith CD. Um, and I don't know how I feel about that. Are we able to use $2 bills? I think I had it in there because I didn't want to spend it because it was a $2 bill. And $2 bills are rare, I feel like. Um, but I, I'm still confused. I, what? <laughs> what is happening? I don't know anymore. I, I don't know, um, but this Aerosmith CD is the best of Aerosmith, the Mil Millennium Collection, 20th Century Masters, it has Dude Looks Like a Lady, Angel, Ragdoll, Love in an Elevator, Janie's Got a Gun, What It Takes, The Other Side, Living on the Edge, Crying Crazy, Deuces Are Wild and Amazing, which I know at least two of those songs. Do look like a lady, and Janie's got a gun. Janie's got a gun. I don't know the words to that one. Um, I also don't know all the words to do. It looks like a lady off the top of my head. So, um, but yeah, um, I wanted to share that with you and update you that I found a $2 bill in my Aerosmith CD. I'm gonna put it back in there and I'm probably going to forget that it's in there until I go to look at it and open it again. Um, yeah. Wanted to share that with you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back to cleaning. Yeah. <laughs> Okay guys, I am done with my closet and my bedroom. My closet is not 100%, like everything is put away. Um, but I at least got all the clothes that I just been like flinging in there that I needed to get hung up, put away. I was able to put my other, my new Halloween tote away. Um, and I was able to put the Christmas presents from last year, because I just kept the box in my room by my bed for like a year. Um, so I finally emptied that out. Just put the stuff in my closet, kind of in a nice area. Um, until I can actually like go through and purge and then in the process of purging actually putting stuff away and reorganizing you know but for right now my closet looks a lot better than what it did my room looks better than what it did so now it is lunchtime I'm gonna eat because now I'm getting hungry um and stuff so I'm gonna make some lunch 
But I wanted to share with you guys because I was, when I went to go put the Aerosmith CD away, I was looking at my CDs and I had a bunch of CDs that were in these types of cases. So I was like, oh, what are in these? Because I know I have quite a few of these that have my Music Man, the Music Man play that I was in, um, copies of that show um, in it. So I knew those were that. However, I came across some other things, two of which I don't know what's on them. So I'm going to play them a little later on my laptop to see what they are. But I have the accompanist of my solo that I did. One of the solos I did my three years of solo ensemble in high school. This one is This Little Rose. Don't ask me to sing it. I don't remember. I don't know any of the words. I don't remember any of the words. Um, this is another, this is a CD. I don't know what's on it. So that I'm going to figure out later. This is another solo that I did one of my three years of solo ensemble in high school. This is American Lullaby. Again, don't ask me what the words are and how to sing it because I don't know. Um, this was the instrumental of the climb. It is not the full version of the song. I could only find a partial version of the song, but I needed this for um, a singing, uh, like, competition show thing that the Sheboygan Theatre Company did uh, a few years ago. Um, we could do like acting and dancing and singing. I chose singing. Oh my gosh, I gotta hurry, my battery is about to die. Um, we have another CD, don't know what's on it. I will let you guys know later. And then these two CDs have the uh, piano accompanists of the songs in The Music Man. So I still have the full script of The Music Man. So it has all the sheet music. I don't know if it has all the sheet music for all the songs, but at least for the songs that I sang. So I could relearn the songs if I really wanted to. I am stoked about this. Um, Cause I was like, what is this? And then I was opening it up and I was looking at this and I'm like, what the heck is this? And I was like looking, I'm like Rock Island. I don't know what that is. Iowa, stubborn, don't know what that is. If you don't mind, I don't know what that is. And then I saw 76 trombones and I was like, oh, it's the music band. <laughs> <coughs> I thought it was just a random CD of old music that my grandpa gave me that he made. But no, it's the accompanists of the songs from the music man when I was in The Music Man and I was Marion Peru, my first and ever lead role. Um, so I might have to relearn the songs. I still have the entire script, so, and the sheet music from my songs. So I am going to later on listen and see what's on these, put it in my laptop and see what's on them. Um, and then I can let you guys know. I don't know if these are empty or if there's stuff on them. Um, so I will let you guys know later on that. Um, but I just had to share this fun little, like, memory lane thing. I only have two out of the three accompanists CDs that I know of for my solo ensemble. Who knows, maybe one of them is on the CD, on one of these. My third one could be on one of these and I just didn't put a post-it note on it. Who knows? We're, we're going to find out later, um, but I'm going to go so I can eat lunch, and then I am going to clean off my table. I'm so excited, guys. Oh, my God. I could potentially have my table up this weekend. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. You, you know excited how excited I am for this table because then I can get my couch more cleaned off and I can get my living room cleaned up and then oh, I'm excited but I'm hungry so I'm gonna go and eat some lunch and I will see you guys later okay guys so real quick um I'm waiting to hear back from my mom because I 
got the table cleared off and the folding metal chair that went with the table when I moved into this apartment that my grandparents gave me to take back to their house. They don't know. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this earlier. They don't know this table is coming back. Um, but it's not going to be in the basement very long because my mom is going to be moving. So I'm excited. Um, my kitchen looks weird because at the moment I put the tote that has the beanbag chair that I'm trying to sell that I put on Marketplace today um, in my room. It's kind of in the way to get into the closet, but for right now, it's fine. Um, and I moved the box with the new table out of the way so I can move the table out, the other table. Um, now I just got to clean the table off, like wipe it down, like clean it. So it's cleared off. I just have to make sure all the debris and whatnot is off of it. Um, Wipe it down with a wet rag, you know what I'm saying? Um, and stuff, but it's weird. My kitchen has more space. I like it, but it's weird. I miss it, but it's weird. Um, so hopefully tomorrow I'll be putting up my new table. I'm super stoked. But I'm just waiting to hear back from my mom, so. Yeah. Okay guys, it is much later. I got my table put together. My stools are not put together, but the table is put together. However, <laughs> I need another person to help me get it upright. I got it on its side, because it was upside down, like the leg sticking up um, for me to put it together. I managed to get it on its side uh, but now I need help getting it upright, so I'm gonna have to wait till tomorrow for my mom to hopefully show up and help me get it upright. Um, but now I'm gonna clean up all of the garbage and get the recycling together so that tomorrow morning I can take it all out. But I am tired. I did not film in the process of me putting it together because I kind of just got in the zone of doing it. I was also listening to my MP3 player to help me, you know, and stuff. Um, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Excuse the mess, cause like I said, I still need to clean up the mess from putting it together, so. So this is the table. Very exciting. I'll obviously show you it again once it is upright. Um, the stools I'm probably not going to put together tomorrow. Those I will probably wait a day or two to put those together um, just because I'm going to be focusing on other things. Um, I'm going to be focusing on other things, um, stuff, so, yeah, I'm going to clean up my mess, and then I'm going to go to bed. I did not take a look to see what was on those CDs, so I will do that tomorrow, um, but I think I vlogged quite a bit today, so tomorrow is going to be its own separate vlog, so Sunday... You'll have to wait till Sunday's vlog to find out what was on those two CDs because I have not done that yet today because that wasn't on my priority list. Um, and uh, stuff. So, I will see you guys tomorrow.